recently you all must have noticed that the crypto market has caused quite a buzz in social media and other online forums and perhaps even in your dinner time conversations but what is all this commotion about this is about the recent downfall of cryptocurrencies in the crypto market hey everyone i'm shamli and i welcome you all to this new video of simply learn on the downfall of cryptocurrency in this video we will let you through some very important aspects of this phenomenon of cryptocurrency first of all we will understand what cryptocurrency and crypto market are after that we will understand how the market works then we will look into the reasons for the market crash of cryptocurrency and how it has affected people at all levels then we will figure out the factors that can help the market to grow again and at last we will look into the future of cryptocurrency and crypto market so let's start with the very first aspect that is what cryptocurrency and crypto market are a cryptocurrency is a kind of virtual or digital currency that works on blockchain technology a public ledger enforced by a distributed network of computers it works as a medium of exchange online to buy goods and services and make payments like for example bitcoin ethereum dogecoin these are some of the popular cryptocurrency cryptocurrency is decentralized and free from any third party interference which means it is not issued or controlled by any government or central authority the crypto in cryptocurrency stands for cryptography which uses encryption and decryption to secure the data crypto market is where you can trade cryptocurrency Cryptocurrency trading is an act of speculating the price movement of cryptocurrency without taking ownership of the underlying coins through a trading account or by buying and selling the underlying coins through an exchange. You can buy cryptocurrency if you think it will rise in value or sell them if you think it will fall. Now let's understand how it works. The price of cryptocurrency is quoted in traditional currencies such as the US dollar. and you never take ownership of the cryptocurrency itself one can buy and sell a cryptocurrency through their trading account or via exchange which helps them speculate on whether the chosen cryptocurrency will rise or fall in value both buy and sell are leveraged products which means you only need to put up a small amount as a deposit known as margin to gain total exposure to the underlying market Your profit or loss is majorly calculated based on the total size of your position. So leverage can affect your profits as well as your losses if the market moves against you. So that makes me question what the reasons behind the market crash of cryptocurrency are. On 19th May 2021, the crypto market saw a massive drop in prices of cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, Ethereum and BNB. crashing up to 30% within a span of just 24 hours this came in the backdrop of the chinese regulators announcing a ban of cryptocurrency china has banned payment companies and financial institutions from providing any services such as registration trading clearing and settlement related to cryptocurrency transactions this announcement made by china broke the market's back and then the panic increased because tesla announced that they would not favor bitcoin on environmental concerns anymore therefore they will not accept any payment made by bitcoin and also there are rumors of irs investigation into the largest crypto exchange platform binance which also has weakened investors resolution to invest more in crypto market now we know the reasons behind the crypto market crash So let's take a look at how it has affected people at all levels. The crypto market means different things to different people. It is an object of speculation that consumes almost all the media coverage about the space to many people. For them, the day crypto market crashed was a black day as they faced a tremendous loss of the leverage invested in cryptocurrencies. Even the Bloomberg Galaxy Crypto Index plunge 19.2% in its worst slide in more than a year and to others the crypto market is more than a speculative instrument for them this incident proved to be a huge opportunity as they got a chance to uncover problems of the system of the crypto market 
like high fees to trade at the most crucial moments and find solution to these problems by adding more capacity and efficiency to the system. So now we have covered everything about the market crash of cryptocurrency. Let's dive into the factors that can help the market to grow again. Despite their dramatic downturn, these cryptocurrencies have consistently recovered from their downtime. People in the crypto market systems have termed this decline as a short-term correction. Long-term investors like MicroStrategy call this crash a buying opportunity of these cryptocurrencies and uh, is investing more to stabilize them. Many people believe that what we witnessed in the last few days was the liquidation of the leverage, long positions followed by a panic sell-off and is considered a very normal phenomenon in thin markets like cryptocurrency. They believe that this situation can be thought down by extensive adoption of cryptocurrency and constant participation in the crypto market. Well, this whole scenario makes me question what the future cryptocurrency and crypto market holds. Cryptocurrency is a highly speculative and volatile investment and it may or may not succeed over time. Therefore, there is no guarantee for these cryptocurrencies that all will always recover from this type of market crashes. A few experts of the crypto market say that investors should hold a long-term view of the digital assets market as they will bounce back swiftly. Also, small investors should be better off staying away from the market as this current volatility can be overwhelming for them. And some experts suggest that holding on to the, these cryptos will be a wise option and small investors should buy these cryptos slowly and steadily through a systematic plan. Therefore, if you're thinking about investing in cryptocurrency, be sure you know what you're getting into. Although the crypto market is lucrative, keep in mind that there's always a chance that sometimes cryptocurrencies are not able to bounce back. So this is all about the downfall of cryptocurrency. We have almost reached the end of this video. If I missed anything important, do let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video on the downfall of cryptocurrency and learn something new from it. If you like this video, then please do hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from SimpliLearn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.